Uh, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Thanks for saying. And Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home, where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Mm -hmm. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia de Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you, so don't leave without him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He's not finished with you. Amen. He's got great plans for you. None of them, none of them include defeat. So be available. Know that you can do all things through Amen. Christ. Amen. And know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And uh, also, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So you know what? You got to get get your attitude right. We've been talking about attitude and staying high on him, you know. Let, he, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Amen. Amen. But we got to stir ourselves up. Amen. When you wake up, you know, don't think about, oh man, all these priority things I've got. Well, first priority is seek you first the kingdom of God. Yeah. Put him on the throne. Dethrone yourself and say he could do a better job than I can. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Let's remember that. So also see yourself a winner, a champion, and an overcomer. And you're going to yeah. keep hearing that over and over. Praise God. Amen. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, make this declaration together. And then yes. we have a scripture uh, Amen. break or a scripture nugget that I want to read to you. Grab your sword, soldier of God. Yes. Remember, he's made us, we are his yes. warriors, not warriors. Okay, yes. so let's, <laughs> let's remember that. Make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do all the things I can do. Today, I'm going to talk the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo! Hallelujah. If that don't stir you up, nothing will. Amen. So, you know what? Let's put him first before all the, all, all, all the NFL games start today. Okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. I got a nugget here for you. And uh, listen, listen, listen. Amen. Amen. It's, I call them scripture uh, scripture break. You know, we take breaks for everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> Drink break, smoke break, whatever break you take, a snack break. Well, let's uh -huh. take out. Well, how about a scripture break? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> it says, be strong, strong in him. See yourself strong in him. You have to see yourself strong in him. Amen. Otherwise, the enemy... And nobody will. You have to be strong in Him. See yourself as Father sees you. He sees you what? How? A winner, a champion, a conqueror, yes. and an overcomer. Amen. Know that you can do all things through Him. Mm -hmm. Almighty God has, listen, if you don't know, now you need to know this. Mm -hmm. He has called you, anointed you, equipped you with His power. Amen. So don't see yourself powerless. Don't see yourself helpless. Know this, when you submit to him, step out in faith and power, and the devil will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what? Don't call on God. You know, put the devil on a run for me. Mm -hmm. No, he's giving you the power. That's it. Amen. So submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. You resist the devil. Yes. And he'll flee he from you. Flee. Woo, come on now. The yes. Israel, listen, the Israelites saw themselves small as grasshoppers. <laughs> He sent 12 spies. 10 of them came back with negative reports. Yeah. Two came back with good reports. Good report. Let's go. We can do. We can tank. We can overcome. The other 10 says, oh no, we're like grasshoppers. There's giants out there. You know what? <laughs> What's your attitude before you step out each and every day? Do you see giants? Do you see yourself as grasshopper? And know that you can do all things through Christ. The Israelis saw themselves as grasshoppers and were terrified to fight the giants in Canaan. Their own, listen, their own sights defeated them. Don't defeat yourself. Amen. Don't defeat yourself. Their sights defeated them, them, defeated them. If you see yourself a weak, powerless believer or Christian, the devil will overtake you. The devil will run over you mm -hmm. if you let him. Amen. God has given us the power. God has given us his word. Have you studied? Have you got the word in you? If it's in you, you can speak it out and take authority and overcome him. He says the devil will flee from you. Mm -hmm. But you got to do something. Amen. We got we, we have to do something. 
says, listen, if you see yourself you, a weak, powerless Christian, the devil will run over you. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Yes, Amen. Is. You know, as you study, you you you, you graduate, you, you grow, you mature, new levels, new devils. You know what? They get stronger, so you need to be stronger in yes, the word. And you got to use the word. They ain't afraid of you. <laughs> They're afraid of how much of this word is going to come out of you. Mm -hmm. So let the word come out. Amen. No, you know yeah. who's backing you. You know who's you are and who's backing you. Yeah. My God is with me. Amen. So don't be no part-time Christian. Don't be no pretender. Oh, I show up on every Sunday or whatever, you know. It's not just about being part-time. It's about being full-time. Yeah. Jesus didn't come to be part-time. He came to be full time and he fulfilled what he came to do. Yes. We need to do the same thing. Amen. He says, you know what? What I've done, you could do awesome. You do awesome. But you got to see yourself the way he sees you. Okay? See yourself strong and mighty in him. Turn the tables on the devil. Yeah. You could turn the tables. Let him find out what it feels like to be a grasshopper for a change. Yeah. <laughs> Remind him of his future. You know what my yeah. future is? Hey. I'm not of this world. I'm just passing through. Heaven is my home. That's my future. That's your future. But what is his future? Peter Hill. <laughs> hell, you know, he can go to hell. He can stay in hell. Okay? So it's okay to say that to him. You know? <laughs> go back home. Go back to hell. <laughs> remind him of his future that he is a... Listen, he's a defeated foe. We got to remind him, you know, you're a defeated foe. Are you afraid of a defeated foe? Jesus defeated him already. He's a defeated foe. Hey, Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Remind him of his future. Yes. That he's a defeated foe. Use your authority and run all over the Amen. devil. Be strong in who? Be strong in him. Be strong in him. Amen. It's not about me. It's about him. I've got a few scriptures I want to share with you. But Philippians 4.13, you can write these down. You can go re uh, research them. And, and, and uh, it goes like this. It says, Philippians 4.13, I, or you can personalize it and say, Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, you want to be strong in him? Well, you got to let the word of God in you. Yeah. And you got to let the word, not only let, him in, let, let it in you, but you have to confess it. Mean yes. you got to speak it out, amen. You know what? <laughs> when I was in the world, I was quick to speak out anything that popped in, just because it pops in your head, don't mean you got to spit it out. That's right. That's it. That's <laughs> you got to be careful because you can have what you say yep. positive or negative. You're sowing seeds, so you know what? Just cast the right seed, amen. Do the right thing. Bible says, I can do all things through Christ, Philippians 4 13, amen. Praise God. And James 4 7 says, Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Or, I submit myself to God, I resist the devil, and he has to flee from me. He didn't say he has a choice. His, his choice is one thing <laughs> he's got to flee. Yeah. Flee is not just walk away or crawl away. That's flee it. means he's got the book, he's got yeah. to go. <laughs> he's going to fly away from here. Deuteronomy 30, 31 and 6 says this, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of, of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. He goes with you. You know what? You can't hide from him. You may think he's hiding, mm -hmm. but he knows everything about you. And he knows the worst about you. And he and loves he you the most. That's it. That's and he went to the cross. Amen. Lord allow his son to be sacrificed mm -hmm. jesus says i'll do it and he was sacrificed and he knows all the negative things about you all the ugly things about you but guess what he's not like the world they just leave you and go yeah <laughs> he loves you the most mm -hmm. amen Woo, hallelujah so you know what you try to be a people pleaser you ain't never gonna please them but you be a god pleaser say lord mm -hmm. I've sinned against you. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what he's going to say? Of all the bad things you've done, you know what? He says the old is gone and new is in. He's your heavenly father now. Yes, Amen. So you start living for him. And you start getting in the word and studying the word and knowing that you can do all things through him. So you, you're, you're a nobody. You're a somebody. 
I'm a child of God. Amen. See yourself that way. If I'm a child of God, that means he's my heavenly father. Mm -hmm. So praise God. A lot of folks don't know. Just because you're mature in age doesn't mean that you know the word. Yes, Amen. You could be oh, a little yeah. child like Noah, you know, and know the word and know more than an adult person yeah. that's never been in the word. Mm. Come on now. Second Corinthians, I mean, Second Timothy 1.7 says this, For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound yeah. mind. You know what? If you step out into the world or you turn your TV on or you, you look at your cell phone, whatever you look at, you know the world is bombarding you with negative things. Yes. Amen. And if you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, guess what? You're going to fall yeah. right into it. Yeah. So don't feed on the negative stuff. Feed on the positive things. Amen. The gospel, the God, the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's going to set you free. Yes. Amen. It says if you know the truth, if you know what God says about you, it's going to set you free yeah. from all this negative world. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Waiting on Him. That's what. That's what our message is. <laughs> so that that that's that's our uh, scripture uh, scripture nugget. Amen. We ain't even started yet. <laughs> Amen. Let me get these right. But to wait on Him and go to the first uh, scripture. Carmen. There we go. Mm -hmm. This one says, King James says, but they, or you, you can make yes. that you. <laughs> yes. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40 and 31, mm -hmm. King James. That's King James. This is uh, the Amplified says this. And those who wait on the Lord, who expect and yes. look for and hope in him mm -hmm. amen i'm hoping in him i'm trusting in him and you know and i'm expecting will gain new strength and renew their power they will lift up their wings and rise up close to god amen yes. amen when you're in the word you're you're in god yeah. <laughs> you're in him amen yeah. so like eagles rise towards the sun they will run and not become weary they will walk and not get tired amen mm -hmm. get yourself in the word you know mm -hmm. and get the word in you you know and the bible says as out of it his innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers of living water man you're gonna start speaking the words i didn't know i could do that mm -hmm. well guess what <laughs> it's coming out of you because it's in you yes so yes. release it let it go and accomplish what it's set to do amen, amen. Woo, hallelujah praise, praise god. god you know what it just reminds me I'm going to open my Bible. You can grab your Bible. Just go to Isaiah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know where. I go to go to Isaiah uh, 55, chapter 55 and verse 11. I like this one. Isaiah 55, 11. Hallelujah. You know what? We teach from the word here. Amen. So open your Bibles. If God don't, don't talk to you, it's because you never open your Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to grab your Bible and open it up. <laughs> Amen. So this is God talking here. It says, uh, Isaiah 55, 11, So shall my word, mm -hmm. so shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. Where it goes from, it goes out of his mouth, mm -hmm. he says. It goes out of my mouth, and this shall not return to me void. Mm -hmm. It's going to accomplish what it says I have to do. He says, but it shall accomplish that which I, which I please, yes. and it shall prosper in thy thing whereto I send it. Amen. Woo, it's going to go and it's going to do. And let me see what the Amplified says. So shall my word that goes out of, go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me. And me is in caps. Mm -hmm. Void without producing and any effect useless. But it shall accomplish that which I please and purpose. And it shall, uh, it shall prosper in the things for which I send it. Yes. Amen. So you know what? And then with Proverbs uh, eighteen twenty one says that death and life are in the power of the words you speak. So don't just go shooting words off, you know, because yeah. you're sowing seed. Yes, if you're gonna you sow seed, don't sow negative seed. Yeah. Don't sow bad seeds, sow positive seeds. Mm -hmm. Amen. So speak the word over the situation. Don't show in the crowd and say start saying, well, you know, the negative things. Speak the positive things. 
Wait on him. There's no so, no shortage of God's power, might, or strength. Yes, Our is. way is not hidden from him. You know, sometimes we feel that way when we're in the flesh. You say, Lord, you forgot about me. Look at all these things happening to me. He ain't forgot about you. He has not forgotten about us. That's it. We forget about him. Oh, yeah. The problem is not there with him. The problem is here with us. With us. Amen. Yeah. We look in the mirror and that's your biggest problem right there. We got to oh, fix this gosh. problem right here. <laughs> yeah. He makes himself his, he makes himself and his strength available to us yeah. if we trust and have faith in him. Yes. And again, our message is wait on wait. him. And something we need to practice on. Yes. <laughs> Waiting, wait, wait, wait on him. Isaiah 40 and 31 says in the King James, But those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Mm -hmm. You will need some strength? Get in him. Yes. It says, They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. That's they it. shall walk and not wow. faint. And the Amplified, of course, says, But those, those mean me. I wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. who expect, look for, and hope in Him will gain strength and renew their power. Amen. We've got the power. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you got the Word, you got, you got, got power. The power. <laughs> they will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles rising towards the sun. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Ooh, man, that yes. is good. So yes. see yourself soaring with eagles that's Soaring it. with God as eagles. Listen, over all your cares, all your worries, all your problems, all your sickness. Yes. Stay positive. Stay connected to the source. Be available. Be involved. Be a participator. Amen. You, he called you to be a team player. Yes. You know what team stands for? Yes. Team stays together. Everyone accomplishes more. We are a team and we work together in unity. Amen. Amen. There's no division in team. Mm -hmm. Amen. We work together in unity. So be involved, be a participator. Not negative, struggling, defeated, quitter, spectator. Be careful when you go into the world because you're going to be around negative people. Oh, yes. Don't let their negative bring you down. I've said it many ways, but you know. <laughs> Don't let the world bring you into their problem. Mm -hmm. You bring them into your peace. Your peace. I've got yeah. peace. When I leave my house, I've got the peace of God with me. Yeah. And I'm ready to go and share it with somebody. But I'm not going to take their troubles. I'm not going to take their problems. Yeah. Amen. All I'm right. going to bring them into my peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. When Jesus was in the storm, they kept woke him up. He was at peace. Mm -hmm. They woke him up. That's one of my stories. <laughs> but... He woke up and he calmed the, the winds and he calmed the storm. He says, peace, be still. Mm -hmm. He told the waves, down. <laughs> we can do the same thing. Whatever mm -hmm. is rising up against you, you can take authority over you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, stay positive, not negative, struggling, defeated, quitting, uh, being a spectator. Mm -hmm. You know, don't just sit and, and, and judge people and see... Well, they're not doing it right. They should be doing it like this. They should be doing it like that. You know, forget about the mindsets. Forget about the traditions. Do it God's way. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if you're trying to please people, you know, it's time to go somewhere else. Come on now. Where they're going to receive you mm. for who you are. Amen. I'm not a perfect one. You know, right. If you find a perfect church, you stepping in there yeah. will make it imperfect. Come on now. Come on. You know, there's only one perfect person mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's Jesus yeah, he's our yeah. greatest example yeah amen so you go where he sent you and you pray about it amen is this where you want me yes mm -hmm. I'm going to learn the word mm -hmm. I'm going to be encouraged and man you're going to be blessed yes amen yeah. nobody's just going to say well you know you can't sit on that side you got to sit on this <laughs> side you got to sit in the back that oh, seats are God. for all the so 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 called brothers and sisters you know mm -hmm. that are up and up no. Mm -mm. God wants you to be there. Amen. Yes, and you're going to have peace about it. And you're going to be get involved yeah. in the things of God. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. That blessed me. That was for somebody. Yeah. If you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we're not to be scratching with the chickens That's or the it. world. And That's we're not to be wallowing with the pigs. Even, sure. in the, even the prodigal son saw himself. He said, you know what? I can do better at Father's house. Yes. 
you know what i left home he gave me says give me what's mine i'm leaving i'm going but guess what when he found himself down in the dumps you know he says you know what? i can do better in father's house yes. and when he came home mm -hmm. and father was looking down the road each and every day and he says oh here comes my son he ran to him mm -hmm. and the son says father you know forgive me i've done this i've done this i've done this i'm no good mm -hmm. my father didn't hear that that's it. father knew what i've called you he says i called you i anointed you i've equipped you mm -hmm. and he called for the servants to come mm -hmm. said bring him a new robe bring him new shoes you yes. know just dress him up you know hey yes. we're going to kill the fatty calf mm -hmm. amen Woo, we're going to have a feast father the son was gone and he's back mm -hmm. you know what some of us have been gone too long it's Go time on. to come back come on now. amen he wants you back you know why he never took his call from you. That's it. He called you and he still got a calling on you. Yes. And you can go to your grave and never fulfill that call. That's it. But guess what? One day you'll have to stand before him and, yep. and, 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 and answer to him yep. and say why you didn't answer the call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. He sacrificed his son for you. And Jesus gave his life for you. And then he said, Father, forgive me. Mm -hmm. They did me wrong, but forgive me. Yes. And Father forgave. So it's time we line up with him yes. and say, Lord, here I am. Use me. Yes. Uh -huh. What do yes. I say? Lord, here I am. Here Use I am me. me. Don't see yourself like the world sees you. Useless. No good. Mm. No. Father says, I made you a winner. I made you a champion. Yes. I made you an overcomer. And you can do all things through me. Yes. All you need to do is line up with me Amen. and press on and do what I've called you to do. And you know, oh my God. And he says, you know what? If you got problems, don't have them cast them on me give them to me <laughs> take all the weights off yes. take all the problems off yes, and yes. press on i want you to go and fulfill you're the closest thing to jesus some people be around yes, you're the closest thing to a bible some people will ever read yes, yes. amen so watch your words and watch your actions and go and do yes. what god has called you to do whether it be big or small it doesn't matter i'm not judging by that i'm just going to do what he wants me to do yes and he's called every one of us to do something yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. <laughs> Jesus. Let me see. Keep going, Kevin. <laughs> Psalms 23 and 2 says what? He said, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Uh -huh. He leadeth me besides the still Good waters. waters. Yes. The New King James says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. Still waters. Waters of rest. Sheep are useless, are, are restless in rushing waters. But they are calm and wait in yeah. still rested waters. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? That's it. Amazing. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not shall want. Not. Ooh, man, that's a whole that's a that's a whole blessing there. A whole Amen. In yes, a whole sermon in itself. <laughs> Praise God, keep going. Uh Psalms 27, 14. New King James says, Wait in faith and patiently on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. This one says, wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Mm -hmm. He didn't say to be sad and doom and gloom. He says, be brave and courageous. Yes, yes wait patiently for the Lord. For the Lord. <laughs> he didn't forget. Just wait on him. Amen. Amen. Wait on him. And uh, the New Living Translation says, Wait patiently for the Lord and be brave and courageous. That's this one. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. So he's telling us what to do. So we, yeah. it's okay to wait. Psalms 37 and, and 7. Keep going. Psalms 37 and 7, contemporary English version says, Be patient and trust the Lord. Mm -hmm. Do not let it bother you when, you go, uh, when all goes well for those who do sinful things. You know, you see the world doing these things. Man, they're doing good. And I'm over here trying to be as Christian as I can, you know. And it seems like it's greener on that side over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be patient. <laughs> Amen. They'll have to pay. And they're going the wrong way. You're going up. They're going down. So don't envy the world. Amen. And uh, the Amplified says, be still. Know that the Lord, uh, Lord, says, be still before the Lord, wait patiently for Him, and entrust 
and trust yourself to him. Do not fret, whine, or agonize because of him who prospers in his ways, because of the man who carries out wicked schemes. Yes. And we gotta be careful. Well, they've got all the money, and they've got all this, they've got all that, and they're doing this, you know. And you think they're real happy, but guess what? Inside, they're hurting. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have the peace, and God's going to use you to minister to them and then be a witness to them. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Keep going. This is good. Proverbs 3 5 and 6. We, there's different translations here, but New King James says, Trust in the Lord with some of your heart. All of your heart. <laughs> with all of your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. With all your spirit and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct, direct your, path. your path. You know how he's going to direct your path. You know why? Because he's got a call on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's going to direct you which way to go. Amen. When you go <laughs> somewhere and you don't know how to get there, you get your cell and you use GPS. Mm -hmm. Amen. It tells you and takes you right to the spot. Well, you know what? Each and every day, you got your God GPS. <laughs> and you tune in to Him, and He'll tell you wh where to go. And He's going to take you in the right places. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and the upper 5 says, Trust in Him and trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart. Do not rely on your own insight or understanding. Yes. Amen. It's so, so important that we renew our minds to the Word of God because the world is going to bombard you with negative things. Yes. The world is going to bombard you with all kinds of stuff. Amen. And we got to renew our minds mm -hmm. to what the Word of God says mm -hmm. so that we don't lose our GPS, so we don't lose our direction. Amen. It says, in all your ways, know and acknowledge and recognize Him, mm -hmm. and He will make your path straight and smooth you shouldn't have been that way he didn't tell you to go there <laughs> we lost track the world bombards you with negative things and you started going the wrong way mm -hmm. if you don't renew your mind you will you'll fall right back to mm -hmm. what the world way is mm -hmm. amen so we got to be careful make your he will make your path straight and smooth yes, removing obstacles that block your way that's it we also call them distractions. There's yes. many distractions out there. Yes. The enemy is going to use, a, the Bible says in John 10, 10, the enemy comes to will do what? Steal, steal kill, and, and destroy. destroy. Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So, you know, rely on him. Amen. He wants to make things straight and smooth for you. Yes. Amen. If it's rough and tough, you know, it's because, <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't know why this is happening, but I know what I need to do. I need mm -hmm. to renew my mind yes. to the things of God. Amen. Because this world is going to have you going yes, loco. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need another one them to kill you. I mean, yeah. to, to, to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pastor, I can't believe I said that. Now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. So wait on Him. Two key things. Mm -hmm. Complete dependency on Him. You got to trust Him. Amen? You got to trust Him. Willingly to allow Him to decide the terms, including the timing of His plan. Okay? It's on His timing, not your timing. Lord, I, I, I prayed two seconds ago, and you haven't done anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> And we keep reminding him, when, 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 you know. It's been a day, it's been a day, it's been a week, it's been a month, mm -hmm. you know. So you just got to be his sign. Yes. Trust, leave it there. You know, when you take your tra trash to the dumpster, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that man is coming. Mm -hmm. Hey, every Friday, mm -hmm. my guy comes and he, all my trash is mm -hmm. gone, you know. But when you take your trash and cast your cares, your cares on him, mm -hmm. leave it there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just leave it there. Know and have faith and trust yes. that it's going to come to pass. Amen. So every time it pops up in your head and, and your friends or your family or the enemy puts a thought there and says, you know what? He forgot about you. Mm -hmm. He's not going to do anything for you. You know, you're a nobody. 
God is faithful. Okay? Yes. But it's his timing. Woo! Jeremiah 29 11 says. Yes. <laughs> God says, For I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. future. You know? And what's the enemy saying? And what's the friend saying? And what's the enemy? They say, you know, God has no plans for you. Mm -hmm. the, your company says, you know what? You, we don't have any plans for you anymore. Mm -hmm. But God has plans. Mm -hmm. I'm not concerned. Because mm -hmm. God has something for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm trusting Amen. him. Amen. Amen. Whew, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and Jeremiah and Je uh, <laughs> James 1 and 3 talks about patience is a product of faith. Keep going. Yes. And uh, James 1 and 3 says this. Knowing this, that the trying of your trying faith worketh. Patience. Patience. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. And the New uh, Century Version says this. My brothers and sisters, when you have many kinds of troubles, you should be full of joy. Mm. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's verse 2. Yeah. Verse 3 says, because you know that these troubles test your faith. Yeah. And this will give you patience. patience. Don't ask for patience. Yeah, It'll come. That's, that's <laughs> it. <man. That's> it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Galatians 5.22 says, mm -hmm. keep going, that says the fruit, fruit the, the fruit of the Spirit is uh -huh. love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, yes. gentleness, self-control against such there is no law. Yes. Amen. The Amplified says, but but the fruit of the Spirit, the results of His presence uh -huh. within us is love, unselfish concerns for others, joy, yeah. inner joy, inner peace, patience, yes. long-suffering, not the ability to wait, but how yes. we act while we're waiting. While we're waiting. Yes. <laughs> yes. Kindness, goodness, mm -hmm. faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, against such there is no law. no law. We must learn to wait on Him. Amen. I've read you this story before. I'm going to read it to you again. Let's remember this. And I love this. I love fishing. <laughs> I love fishing. The little boy was fishing, but catching nothing. Mm -hmm. A happy, joyful old man stopped by and asked him, Are you fishing? He replied, No, I'm drowning worms. <laughs> he says, Go away. You're bothering me. Hmm. Things you must have before you go fishing. You got to have faith. You got to have patience. And you have to be waiting, expecting with faith and hope mm -hmm. that you're going to catch something. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know before I go. <laughs> if I don't catch anything, I'm going to still have patience. And I'm going to wait, mm -hmm. expecting. That's it. Amen. So let's know this. You know, sometimes we go prepare ourselves to do something. Mm -hmm. Have patience and have patience. wait and trust yeah. in Him. Amen. Yeah. So, <laughs> the boy did not have, it says, expecting to catch something. The boy did not have this. Attitude is the key here for yeah. our daily lives. That's it. You're either going to be positive or negative. You know, before you leave to go anywhere, be positive. Mm -hmm. God is with me. Wherever you go, the Bible says that my body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So, wherever you go, He wherever goes. Amen. So you can't hide from him. No. But you know what? Get your attitude right. Mm -hmm. Attitude is a choice. You make the choice. You choose. The boy's attitude was negative. The old man's attitude was positive. Mm -hmm. Happy, greeted him, checking on him. Mm -hmm. You know what? You're going to meet people in the world and they're going to say things you don't want to hear. That's it. <laughs> and they're going to tell you things mm -hmm. you don't want to hear. But you got to be prepared. The Bible says to have on the armor of God. Yes. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's it. Amen. But spiritual beings in mm -hmm. high places. Mm -hmm. And they're going to attack you. And people don't know any better. The mm -hmm. enemy uses people. God uses people. His people. But the devil uses people that are lost. Mm -hmm. That don't want anything to do with That's Christ. It. Amen. But he's going to use them. And they're going to tell you off. They're going to cut you off. They're going to. Mm -hmm. Show their rage. Yeah. And you got to be 
patient and you have to be strong in him yes. <laughs> get your attitude right attitude is contagious is yours worth catching <laughs> people are people are going to see you, you know, watch your watch your words watch your actions amen watch your attitude because people are going to say man I, I want what you've got what is it you've got I've got Jesus mm. amen <laughs> and with Jesus you're going to have the right attitude mm -hmm. amen is your attitude worth catching? Yeah. Says atti attitude is like a flat tire. You yeah. can't go anywhere until you catch it. It's in there somewhere, Carmen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Says attitude determines your altitude. Are you going to soar higher as equals? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to be low and scratching with the chickens or wallowing with the pigs? Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you going to be positive or negative? The choice is yours. Let's make the right choice, amen. If you're the Christ like you're the closest thing to Christ, some people be around, mm -hmm. you better be cheerful <laughs> and <Yeah>. joyful. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So listen, that attitude is like a flat tire. If you don't change it, you'll never go anywhere. That's it. So you know what? Before I go out the door, <laughs> I'm gonna have a right attitude. Christ is with me wherever I go. And I'm gonna show Christ wherever I go. I'm not gonna be ashamed. And I'm not going to try to hide them. They don't try to hide when they tell you negative things. Come on now. When they cuss you off, you know, oh, cut you off, you know. Yeah. They're not. They're not saying. Uh -uh. So why should I be ashamed of saying? You know what? I got victory all the time, mm -hmm. and I'm always smiling because greater is He that sent me than He who sent the world. Christ Come is my now. Savior. Amen. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. You must choose to start every day with a good. A positive, a winning attitude. Yes. The world's not going to give it to you. The world's going to try to put you down each and every moment. Mm -hmm. But you got to be strong in Him. You got to renew your mind yes, with you the thing, with the Word of God. You know, yes. and have the right attitude. Amen. Attitude, the great, the greatest attitude you can have is gratitude. Yes. Gratitude is the best attitude you can have. And the, <laughs> Ephesians five twenty says this giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5.20 Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise What's the next God. one, Carmen? Um, Psalms 100 okay. says attitude of thanksgiving. Oh. You don't know what else to say. Uh. Lord, I just want to thank you. Yes. For everything, you know, not not just on Thanksgiving Day. Yes, that's Every right. day is a Every day of day. Thanksgiving. You know why? Because He woke you up. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that I was on your wake up list. Uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. Say thank you. Uh -huh. Psalms one hundred it says says make a joyful noise yes. unto the Lord, all ye lands, mm -hmm. all of us, all all people. Yes. Say serve the Lord with sadness. No gladness. Oh gladness. Uh -huh. <laughs> I better get that right. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. You know, when you serve the Lord with gladness, you're going to be around native yes. people. Oh, yeah. But you still, Lord, I'm serving you first. Mm -hmm. You're my first priority. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to serve these people mm -hmm. with gladness. Yes. Gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. You're representing him. Yes. It says, come before his presence with, with singing. singing. Uh -huh. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is yes. he that, that has is. made us mm -hmm. and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. praise. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's not all of it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, have a winning attitude. Yeah, Matthew yeah. 6, 33, again, it says, But seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I can't say it enough, church. We have have the right attitude because the world is always on a negative yes. attitude they're always negative and they're going to share negative things with you and they're going to put it on the screen they're going to put it on the radio they're going to put it on on the phone mm -hmm. they're going to put it all over they're going to advertise and it's all negative yeah are you going to start believing that or you you know what i'm going to renew my mind and i'm going to go by what the word says not by what the world says yeah for God so loved the world, He sacrificed His, yes. his only begotten Son. Yes, he did. 
Yeah. Amen. As a matter of fact, that's <laughs> that's our next one. It says, For God so loved the world that he mm -hmm. gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting mm -hmm. life. John 3 16. Amen. Mm -hmm. So attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yes, it is. It shows. Mm -hmm. And you know what people are gonna say? Mm -hmm. I either want to be like you. Oh man, I wish I could live like you do. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do this. I wish I could make this change. You can mm -hmm. make the change if you allow yourself. But you got to yes. dethrone yourself oh, and yes. put God on the throne. That's it. Amen. Woo. Sometimes we feel like the little boy. We haven't accomplished anything. And you know what? You're going to have some friends come around and say, you don't amount to anything. You haven't done anything. You're no, you're no good. You're nobody. So you're going to haven't accomplished anything. You're just wasting your time. You're just spinning the wheels. You know, like the little hamster, man, he's going 100 miles, but he ain't going anywhere. He's still in the same spot. He's just spinning the wheels. Impatient, annoyed, irate, and itchy. Or you can throw rage. <laughs> Amen. So you just say, wow, you know, we just feel down and out. But you know what? We gotta renew our minds yes. and get right with him yes. and get all the negative stuff out. Yes. You know, throw the junk out, cast it on him, mm -hmm. and start thinking and doing what he wants you to do. Amen. Amen. So yes. renew our strength requires that we wait on him even in the middle of great trials. Yes. Whatever you may be going through, he didn't forget about you. That's right. He knows you. Yes. He knows who you are. Yeah. He's your heavenly father. You're his child. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he hadn't forgot about you. Even you're going through these trials. If we wait on him, we will reap. We will gain. We will earn. We will acquire. We will win. And we will obtain. Yes. Amen. Because we're on the winning side. We're on the winning if you're on God's side, you're on the winning side. Mm -hmm. Amen. So see yourself the way he sees you. You're a winner. You're on God's winning team. Our faith and trust must be tested to gain strength. Amen. We need the Lord now more than ever. Yes, we do. Amen. The Bible says we're in the last days. And guess what? In the last days, it's going to get worse. But in order for you to stay straight and for you to stay right, you got to stay full of Him. You got to get in the Word, meditate His Word, and confess His Word. Amen. Woo. Easy to live for God and trust Him when all is going well. Not so easy when the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you got to give it to Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Many questions quit. Many questions bail out mm -hmm. on God as the storms of life get rough. Yes. Amen. They just went through a hurricane. <laughs> and some of us have been going through some hurricanes, you know, mm -hmm. even without... Without the rain, the rain or the, 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 the winds, you know. Uh -huh. And the battlefield, listen, the battlefield is the mind. Yes, yes. And the enemy uses mm -hmm. the battlefield. He uses that. Yes. You know, and he puts thoughts there mm -hmm. and belittle you and say negative things about you. Mm -hmm. And he use people, others, you know, to come yeah. against you and say things against you. Yeah. So we know, what must I do? Renew my mind with yes. the Word of God. Amen. And then feed on the, feed on the Word. Yes. Feed my spirit the Word of God. Be yes. grounded in the Word. Anchored on the Word. Yes. And renew our minds with the Word of God. Because the enemy is busy. Yes. Remember, he's a full-time devil. We need to be full-time yes. believers. Not just part-time. Amen. Yes. And the battlefield is the mind. Yes, the mind. So the best way to defeat him is renewing your mind mm -hmm. and confessing the word amen so whew, hallelujah thank you lord again and we'll close with this is first peter 5 7 mm -hmm. everybody knows it we'll just yes. put it on the screen for you for you to see or i'll read it to you it says remember to cast all cares on him yes. first peter 5 7 says new king james casting all care upon him because yes. he cares about you. He Amen. put you here. He called you. Mm -hmm. He anointed you. He equipped you. And he's got a mission for you. But then he says, you know what? You're going to have some cares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's going to be some things coming against you. But he says in, uh, excuse me, in, in uh, 
we find it. John 16.33 says this, uh -huh. New King James. And these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you will have peace. In this world you have tribulations, yeah. misfortunes, trials, sufferings, troubles. But be of good cheer. Yeah. I have overcome the world. That's it. Amen. So you know what? Yeah, these things are going to come against you. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You can overcome those things. Mm -hmm. Know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you get something? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, praise God. Bless Me too. I receive it. Amen. If you don't receive it, I'll take it. <laughs> Amen. He's not finished with me yet, you know. So I'm not perfect either. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Those of you are watching, you know, you've been running from him all this time. You know, it's time to say, Lord, <laughs> here I am. I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. He's going to be your Lord and Savior. But you start living for him. Amen. And then you start reading the word. Start growing in the word, maturing in the word, amen. Yes. Get a, get you a Bible, start reading it, you know. Say, well, he never talks to me. Well, you know what? You need to get that Bible and you need to open it up and start yes. reading it and get yes. those words in you so that they can start coming out of you and you start speaking the word, amen. So praise God. He's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. None of them include defeat. So praise God. You got sickness in your body? Talk to your body like I do. No. And say, you know what, body, body, Jesus stripes you're healed. Yes. So I'm receiving my healing. Amen. No malfunctions in my body from head to toe. I see myself, everything functioning normal Amen. the way God created it to function. So I receive my healing. So body, yes. line up with the word of God. I receive I your healing right now. In sickness, I don't receive you. I rebuke you and I command you to go back to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Jesus took him on the cross. He took the stripes on the cross, you know. So... By his stripes, I am healed. So I receive my healing. So praise God. Amen. And it's time to give. You can go to our website. It should be on the screen there. NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. Mail. If you go mail. NBC PO Box 252. Marfa, Texas 79843. Mm -hmm. And for Cash App, go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you. And we love you. So remember, wait on him. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.